Hey guys, I'm not this video. On today's video, I want to uh, talk about a quite important subject, and it is about when is a hair uh, at its weakest state during regrowth process. And for you guys who are on the channel for the first time, my name is Alex, and I have been suffering hair loss myself, but I was able to regrow back my own hair. I'm also a certificated trichologist. So in today's video, I want to talk about hair regrowth. And basically, when you are doing treatment, and at what point the hair is actually at its weakest. And when hair are growing out, they go through different stages or different phases. And each phase is kind of uh, from, uh, let's say, for example, if the hair loss has been advanced and have been going on for a while, uh, they start to go from values here to the terminal here, right? It is basically a process that takes several months to reach the terminal stage. But at some point, it is possibility to reach the terminal stage if there are no online problems or any unbalances that can block uh, to get to, to that desired state of the hair regrowth. And terminal stage is basically final stage completely recovered. And the thing with, for example, values here or recovering, for example, bald areas, is that uh, those stages are very sensitive to any unbalances or any underlying problems that are not addressed. So, for example, some guys, they start with treatment and they don't see any results. Right. And then again, there are some guys who do see results in form of values here, but they never go past that stage of values here growth. Right. So let's say, for example, they start with minoxidil application, and they are able to see regrowth in form of values here, and even dark values here. That will be kind of next stage of values development. But they are not able to get those here to grow longer and become more of. Right. So basically, they kind of plateau out at value stage. And uh, again, the reason for it is that there is something that blocks those follicles to uh, reach their maximum potential. For some, it can be DHT, for example. For some, it can be scalp problems. For some, it can be internal factors, uh, nutritional factors, right? So there is a couple of different things that can happen or cause that basically uh, the hair are not growing out as they should. But there is always some kind of blocker, right? So the point is to find out and define what is a blocker and remove it and to make sure that basically one has removed it then one needs to stop all this in one's favor and the hair will continue to develop and at some point reach terminal stage because terminal stage is the final stage when the hair have basically become as existing here structure as uh, original here right and that's kind of desired outcome of the hair ego but the, if the hair are for example in values here stage or uh, in the middle stages between terminal values then they are still very weak and very easily will be affected with any unbalances, either in lifestyle or in scalp or uh, in the body itself. So this is something I want to share with you guys. Uh, and I also wanted to kind of show you a couple examples. So this one here is basically, as you can see, my temples are a bit light in color, right? And basically what it means is that those here uh, that are growing out in this stage here, they are very weak to any unbalances that can happen. And if there are unbalances that happens, they would basically fall out quite quickly again and the whole process would restart once again. I'll share with you guys in today's video. And for you guys who are looking uh, to reach out to me to basically get my help or my coaching regarding hair growth or other problems that you're having that may be blocking you from seeing results from treatment, you can schedule a call below this video. There is a link for it. Let's talk with me or my team about your hair situation and how we can solve. Thanks for watching. See you guys and see you next one. Cheers.